Hi guys, ZCrazyG here, back with another CTR video. With the Gazmoxia Grand Prix just beginning, it's brought a whole lot of new exciting stuff to the game and I am loving it. But as always, in the update that comes with each of these events, there's always code embedded revealing content to come. Found once again by the always reliable Beta M and even now is no exception. It's slightly different this time however, as this content will not be in the form of a Grand Prix since the Gazmoxia Grand Prix is the last. So these will presumably come to the game as a big update once the current Grand Prix has finished. There's a lot to break down here, so let's get right into this. As always, thank you to Beta M for this information and a reminder to never take any of this as 100% fact, since though this does come from the game files, things like this are always subject to change in development, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, let's get straight into this. It seems we will have three characters being added to the game with this update under the codenames Driver BAL, Driver BCX, and Driver BTY. Now, we actually know who Driver BAL is since their model has been data mined as well, and it is the lab assistant. Now, I think people are going to have split thoughts on this. Yes, he is a generic enemy, but he's really no different from Mario Kart adding the Koopa Trooper. And I mean, hey, he's already got a lot of great skin potential, so I'm fine with his addition. Now, the other two characters due to their letter abbreviations are believed to be Baby Cortex and Baby Entropy. Now, what's interesting is that these two were data mined a long time ago and were thought by many to be coming in the back in time Grand Prix. But of course, that did not happen, so it's certainly a surprise to see them crop up. Does this mean that many of the other characters that were data mined back then could be showing up soon? Who knows? And once again, yeah, I know these two are a controversial choice since, you know, more baby characters, but I'll let you draw your own conclusions. We also have another update on the elusive driver entry that keeps changing in the code, since I guess Beanox are very aware of the community's data mines. It started as driver who am I, then changed to driver who could I be, and has now been changed once again to, and get ready for this, driver I am as important as the bandicoot so I should be the main character. I assure you that is completely real, that is what Beta M has found. Beanox really are having their fun with us aren't they? The promotion cart found in the last data mine now known fully as the Xfinity flash cart has been added so it's assumed that that promotion will start soon. Now we actually know what this promotion will be about about, and I do have some choice words to say about it, but I'll leave that for a bit, we'll get back to this. Now skin wise, we've not got a lot to go on, there is one entry for a Coco skin as well as skin data for who is believed to be the lab assistant. They will have one legendary skin, three legendary recolors, a new feature coming soon, and three exotic skins. We also have a new champion cart unlock message which states, reach the top 5% of any Grand Prix leaderboards or beat all of Nitrous Oxide's times in time trial mode. And what I think this is, is a way to earn the champion cart once the Grand Prix have ended. Since the original way of earning it was to finish in the top 5% of Grand Prix leaderboards, players won't be able to do that if there are no more Grand Prix events. So instead, it seems that the new way to unlock it if you haven't already is to beat all of the Nitrous Oxide time trial times. And I think that's pretty fair, well, things considered. Finally, we also have one last unlock message related to the upcoming developer Ghost Times. They simply state, get good. <laughs> God damn you, Beanox. So that's all the information we currently have, a lot to think about there, and it'll be interesting to see how they structure these content drops for the future. Now back onto the Xfinity cards, because this has pissed me off. So, I have been vocal about the Sour Patch and Trident promotions for CTR. Since the promotional products were US exclusive, meaning that people outside the US had a hard time getting hold of them. But my god, they have cranked up the bullshit meter to 11 with this Xfinity cart. Xfinity, for those who don't know, is a streaming and cable service provider in the US. Though people have already managed to access this cart via cheats on a modded Switch version. This footage is courtesy of the Reddit user Cool Funky Panda, and people have actually been seeing the promotions for this car, and it seems the only way to acquire is to be a customer of the Xfinity service, where you pay for them to be your cable provider or you sign up to their US exclusive streaming service. What a bunch of 
fucking bullshit that is. With the Sour Patch codes, I could kind of tolerate it seeing how those were quite readily available products in the US, and since because of that, the codes could be distributed overseas quite easily. But with this, you've got no choice but to sign up to them and pay a sizable fee, like what the fuck? fuck are you thinking Activision? It really sucks especially since this cart looks absolutely sick and now so many people not only around the world but even in the US as well will have no way of getting this. Fuck that. Anyway that's my rant over. So tell me guys what do you think about all this information? Are you excited for the new characters to come and who the hell do you think this mystery driver is? I'm certainly curious so let me know in the comments below. And with that thank you all so so much for watching it really does mean a lot guys. Feel free to like and subscribe if you feel like it and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care guys.